Hey everyone, it's Dora from FlippingHousesAndPancakes.com and today I thought we'd play a fun game called Power Outage Cooking. That's right, we have a we had a major storm yesterday and we have no electricity, so we're going to make some lunch with no power. Let's go. So like I said, we had a big storm yesterday and actually blew out a window in my house and, um, well, not blew out a window, put a tree through my window and also maybe smashed my van a little bit. It's all fun, all great, but the most fun part is that there's no electricity. So we had a really dark night. We're surrounded by trees here, so it was very, very dark. And, um, and I am going to make lunch now. Now, it happens to be that I have a gas cooktop. I was able to start it using my lighter. Um, and the gas comes out. Obviously, it won't start with the regular, it won't start with the regular igniter. I have to ignite it with a lighter. But I have a gas cooktop now for years. I only had electricity in this house. We didn't have any gas. So I couldn't even do this. I literally couldn't cook a thing. My ovens are obviously not working. Today we are doing a very fancy dish. That's right. That's right, you guys. We are making noodles. <laughs> noodles. That's what we're doing. I'm going to make noodles. We're going to make my noodles with cottage cheese. Um, it's a recipe in my cookbook. So you can go ahead and check out my cookbook, Flipping Houses and Pancakes, Kosher Recipes and Kitchen Design Tips from an Amateur Professional. We are going to use these noodles, some cottage cheese that I bought that is hopefully still cold in my fridge. Uh, I think it is. If the milk was still cold this morning, so hopefully the cottage cheese will still be cold and we can use it up. Going to make cottage cheese noodles today. Pasta with cottage cheese. It's awesome. It's delicious. It's super easy. And I don't have a lot of ability to make too many other things. So we're going to make that for lunch and maybe we'll throw it together. A salad? What do you think? Does that sound good? All right. <laughs> Let's get started. I've got a pot on. I turned it on. It's got water with a little bit of... I didn't put any salt. Let's add some salt. What do you guys... What do you guys eat when you have a... I'm just going to throw some salt into my water so it boils a little faster. What do you guys eat when you have a power outage? Do you pull out the cans of vegetables? Do you have a way to heat it? My children are shining flashlights at me. Um, <laughs> we're set up next to a window, so there's a little bit of light. What do you guys usually eat during a power outage? That's what I want to know. Are you using leftovers? I'm being flashed at. Um, let me know in the comments. What's your favorite food to serve during a power outage? So during a power outage, I usually A, serve leftovers. If we have anything, like serve it. Um, things that are going to get go bad really fast, so dairy products and meat that's thawed and defrosted already in my fridge. Try and cook those. Sometimes we'll use the grill outside to cook some of that meat up. Um, or like I said, we'll try and make like a pot of noodles or something so we can put some of the cheese in it, things like that. Uh, over the years, we've had all kinds of power outages. That's one of the benefits of living in this beautiful forested area over here. And so we have a lot of fun, um, or at least we try to, because might as well make the best of it, right? Uh, my kids like power outages. They usually get out the glow sticks, which I'm surprised they didn't do yet. But now that I just said it out loud, I'm sure they're going to go hunt through my closet and find all the glow sticks. They enjoy messing with glow sticks. They enjoy just the quietness of sitting around with their flashlights. Um, and they don't really like that as much at night, but they do like that during the day. So we have some very calm activities during power outages. Now we actually have a generator, but my crew took the generator because they were doing some work. So we're waiting on my crew to bring the generators back so we can get some power going, at least enough for lights and for our refrigerators to be, it's my kids again, <laughs> you can see, at least for, for the lights and for my, you know, refrigerators to cool down again. But... In the meantime, we're making noodles. Let's make a salad too. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. We're going to make noodles and salad for lunch. What do you think? 
kind of salad should we make? All right. I am going to put the noodles in the pot because it's just about ready. I know. It's very complicated. I know. First of all, a lot of people say you can't put your noodles in until the water boils. I disagree. Go ahead and do it. Oh, who cares? <laughs> That's no harm. Shh. There's probably somebody you shouldn't say that to, but I'm telling you that it's fine. Put your noodles in to the pot. And don't worry about it. Ooh, there, too much sun right there. Um, so I got my noodles in. We're going to let them cook up, and then we can add the cheese and the cottage cheese and stuff like that. And I'm going to make a salad. Okay, so the next step in in making lunch during a power outage, sorry, I'm sorry, you could just barely see me, is I have some lettuce. We're going to put the lettuce in the bowl. This is really fancy food. Always do super fancy food during power outages, okay? But in this light, I look amazing. Don't you agree? I think this is, I look terrific. Okay, so we're going to... I'm going to cut up a cucumber because, you know, yesterday I was very, we had no food in the house really. So I went to four different stores and I restocked my entire fridge, produce, frozen food, refrigerated food, everything. That was a cucumber. I'm putting a cucumber in. And you know what happens when you restock your whole fridge? Amazing. The lights all go out. Okay. So gonna cut up a tomato this will be delicious this is a delicious delicious power outage food here we go salad you can't beat salad can you during a power outage I don't think so maybe if you had ice cream that was fine that would be a really good thing to eat right now if you're having a power outage also eat some ice cream that always helps but only if it's thawing if it's still frozen leave it in the fridge do you know how do you know how that works but your food will stay cold for a pretty long time in the fridge. That was the avocado pit. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll pick it up later. One of my kids actually just picked it up. Thank you. <laughs> Anyhow, um, if you have stuff in your freezer and your freezer is jam-packed, don't open it. Leave it closed. The, that was my kid again. <clears throat> Don't open it, leave it closed. Your food will actually stay cold for a decent amount of time. You might even have like a good two days worth of freezer time if you don't open the freezer. Your fridge will last less than that, but it still will stay good for a good amount of time if you don't open it. So don't open it. Open it, grab something, close it really quick. Don't stand in the door, just leave it all closed and your food will stay edible longer. All right, I'm putting this avocado in. This will be delicious. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Do you see it? Probably not. <laughs> look at that. Whoa, amazing. And that is a power outage salad. Isn't that delicious? I'm going to find some salad dressing that I've stored in my refrigerator and is hopefully still good and put it on top of this salad. I think it will be amazing. Now, my noodles are not quite ready. So we'll come back when they are. All right, the noodles are not ready yet. And you can hear everybody around my house waiting for the noodles. The salad is clearly ready. Uh, the trick is, if we're lucky, I will get through this whole video while I still have battery in my phone because of course, can't plug that in, right? <laughs> okay, I'm videotaping this with my phone. Hopefully I'll have enough battery to get through the video. Be back in just a minute with those noodles. Okay. The noodles are still not ready, but I figured we need to finish our salad off. So I'm gonna top the salad with these amazing non-perishable, well, they're perishable, but they're shelf stable. That's the word I'm looking for. Tortilla chips, you can just crunch them up over the salad. That'll give it a nice crunch. And then when we add our salad dressing, hmm, it's gonna be perfect and crunchy. Hopefully those noodles will be ready soon. I'll be back. All right. My noodles are taking a lot longer than I thought they were gonna take. So in the meantime, I'm gonna put a little more effort into my salad. I found a quarter jar, a quarter can of sliced olives in my fridge back from when we were making pizza the other day. I'm gonna add those to my salad. I found a little bit of picante sauce left and I'm gonna add that to my bowl right here, just like that. I'm gonna put it in the bowl. I'm gonna take some of my mayo that may or may not go off depending on when my power comes back on. I'm gonna, right now it's good, so we're gonna 
we're good with that. I'm gonna add that to my picante sauce and I'm gonna mix them up. I think that's gonna be an amazing dressing for my salad. What do you think? This is what you do. When the power goes out, just start taking things. But remember, close your fridge really quickly. Take things out, mix it up, throw it to all together and say, eat this before it goes bad. We do that a lot. That's always like, a, oh, here, eat this. The amount of times you've had like, everybody eat this ice cream before it goes bad. Everybody eat this random block of cheese before it goes bad. We'll do this. Oh yeah, that smells good. I know you can't see me, but it smells good. And there's a little more in the jar, so I'm just gonna scoop out all of it. Oh yeah, look at that. More food that we didn't, I'm just throwing that out. More food that we didn't waste because we're gonna put it in the salad. We're gonna eat it during this amazing power outage. Hopefully those noodles will be ready soon. Okay, got the noodles. They finished, finished, finally finished cooking. I'm gonna start adding random cottage cheese. <gasps> Did you see it? <gasps> Did you see that? My generator must have arrived. I think my electricity is starting to turn on. This is very exciting. Now you're gonna see what I look like. That's scary. Cause I don't know what I look like. <laughs> Cause it was very dark this morning. All right. I'm gonna add the cottage cheese to my noodles. Not all of the electricity is on yet, so okay. I'm gonna add the cottage cheese to my noodles. I'm gonna add some shredded cheese to my noodles. And we will have shredded, I and mean, we will have my macaroni with cottage cheese. Let me get it stirred up so you can see what it looks like. Take a look at that. Can you see it? All right. We've got that. I think there's enough light. You'll be able to see my salad. Got my salad. I've got my dressing. Salad and dressing. That looks good. All right. We are ready for lunch. I hope you enjoyed this very strange episode of <laughs> making lunch during a power outage. And I hope you guys all have your electricity on today. If you do, please like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications so you find out every time I upload a new video. And of course, check out my website, flippinghousesandpancakes.com. I think my window's being covered by, she by a piece of plywood right now. Um, my broken window, so that's the noise. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs>